Oh. Maybe it's not a good idea. Oh, let's try to see. I think we might have to call the landlord. So, they said put one fifth of the bottle slowly into the drain. We looked it up, one fifth of 2.3 liters is 460 milliliters. Is that right? Yeah. What did you say? So, we're gonna measure it in this cup. I wanna say like 460 is around like right there. Just like an approximation estimate. Oh, geez, don't worry. Dirty. Okay. Nice. Okay, so slowly they said, right? Okay, nice. Now, the direction wow. says wait for 15 to 30 minutes and flush with hot water. This thing. Yeah. This means don't use it, okay? Don't use it. Tools. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. Sure, 30 minutes. Starting now. Nice. So 30 minutes, we're gonna put hot water. It's gonna be good. And why are we doing this? Because it's clogged. How do you know it's clogged? Because it doesn't drain. Exactly. Because it keeps not draining properly and filling up the sink when we wash the dishes. Yeah, and it's dirty, dirty water. Yeah. This sink so dirty. Now we're gonna solve the problem. We'll see when the timer goes off. Oh. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Stop. Anyway, we're gonna fill this up with hot water. Instructions. They said repeat it. Oh. Hey Google, set timer for 30 minutes. Oh, it's not really working. Well, that didn't work, so we'll need to figure out a new solution. Okay, bye. A few moments later. Hello. So the drain out fluid didn't work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to clean the pipe underneath the sink so that we can just like get all the gunk out there. I've done it before from the previous place that we lived in. Our bathroom sink was also draining really slow there. And um, there's just a lot of stuff in the pipe. So literally just finished watching a YouTube video, how to do it. So they said, person that I watched on YouTube recommended that I have some rag and something to catch the water once it spills out. So I'm just gonna unscrew this. <gasps> no way. So I don't know if you can see, but it feels like it's been sealed off here. How am I supposed to, to take this off if it's been sealed off? Huh? I'm so confused. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, goodness. The only thing is this one. Because that's what the guy said. Bro, it's sealed. Am I supposed to be able to take this off? I wonder if I can snake it with like a, a wire hanger. Let's see if I can clear it that way. We got one left. We got this thing. I'm gonna try to see if we can do that. <laughs> eh, eh. Let me see if I can look at what's inside my phone camera. Flash on. See. Oh, that looks gross. Anyways, let's see if that made any difference at all. I mean, all I did was like pretty much just poke it around. I don't know if that's gonna do anything per se. It's the same. There's still water. It didn't work. And now the sink is leaking. <gasps> There's definitely food in this part. But we can't open that part. I wonder if I can open this part. Let's try it. I'm gonna be right back. And I'm gonna try, search up if I'm allowed to open this part. 
because I don't want to open something that's going to break the pipes. So I'm going to Google that and I'll be right back. Okay. A few minutes later. I searched it up. Turns out this little thing is called the clean out plug. So I'm going to take that off. It feels like I can take it off. Um, we'll see. See what's... God. Can I ask for your help? I just need you to unscrew it. I'm having a really hard time. With the what? With your hand? Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your left to you see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I don't think... Oh. <gasps> Maybe it's not a good idea. Oh, well, let's try to see. I think we might have to call the landlord. I don't want to mess with it more. I'll show you. This happened now. See this gap right there? Yeah, so now when we turn on the, wa the water, it just goes through that and makes a puddle. And I'm trying to turn it and like I don't know why this is stuck. Why is this stuck? How does that make sense? Is it glued or something? And why is this sealed? How much is a plumber? <laughs> okay. Well, I will update you later. Okay. See ya. The next day. Update on the situation with the pipes. So, we couldn't fix it ourselves. We messaged our landlord and he fixed it for us. There's a part that corroded that needed to be replaced. So he went and got that and now it's replaced. So that this part is replaced and he just put it back, right? And we found or he found that it's not completely better. I'm trying the Drano method again. See if that fixes it. And if it doesn't, He's gonna snake the pipe. It's interesting that it has a snake. Do normal homeowners have snakes? You wouldn't know. I don't know why I asked you. Anyway, okay, see ya. <gasps> There's open shoes for this weekend. And they're not taking them. Do we have plans this weekend? Yeah, to rest and recover. Anyways. Hey, so I'm just editing the video now and I realized I didn't really end the video properly. In conclusion, lesson learned. As much as I would like to be independent and try to fix things myself, I have to accept that I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm not a plumber. I should leave it to people who actually do know what they're doing and have the tools to do them. Lesson learned. That's my lesson today. As much as you want to save money, as much as you want to be independent and you want to feel proud to be able to fix it yourself, you have to admit that, you know what, it's okay to ask for help. <laughs> I feel like it's the immigrant in me that wanted to fix it so bad and I was so frustrated when I couldn't. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye!